But first, is anyone else looking at politics at the moment and just rolling their eyes? Seriously. Here, we've had an entire week of mudslinging over flight upgrades. Legitimate too, by the way. If those in power are soliciting for freebies relevant to their portfolios, then that is a big deal. The government, under pressure, did their own digging and are now dubbing the opposition leader Private Plane Peter. But is there anything at all less relatable to Mr and Mrs Smith, who work two jobs each just to pay childcare, can barely afford their electricity bills and have all but given up on owning their own home? Seriously. No wonder so many people are so disenchanted with it all. And don't get me started on the UK. That's a whole other kettle of fish. Starmer and co are already breaking promises and hiding the truth left, right and centre. In America, just a few sleeps until either Donald Trump or Kamala Harris takes office. We've had garbage slurs. But there's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah. I think it's called Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, where I'm in my home state of Delaware, they're good, decent, honourable people. The only garbage I see floating out there is just borders. Q Trump, then garbage trucks. I think that the comment made by really both of them, because there are really two of them, uh, about being garbage, maybe 250 million people, uh, they shouldn't be talking. That's like deplorable for Hillary. This is the deplorable for Hillary. And uh, I think this is worse, actually. We've had jokes falling flat. OK, now I want each of you to shout your own name. Do that. Because <laughs> it's about all of us. It's about all of us. In her defence, we've all been there. And the current Commander-in-Chief chomping on a child. Well, at least over there, it is entertaining. And on that, he is hoping for a Trump win. He might not be your cup of tea, he's not mine all the time, but the world is in dire need of just his brew right now. Love him or hate him, he will lead with the type of strength that creates peace. And the team he's assembling around him, honestly, wow. It's almost like a superhero movie. We've just got to keep our fingers crossed for a happy ending.